Hey friends, Tux here. For this particular video, we'll be checking out the Sega Genesis Mini. This is the newest version of the Mini Sega Genesis. Of course, a lot of companies like PlayStation, Nintendo are putting out little consoles with games included. It's a great way of catching up on some past games, okay? And this is the newest version. Sega Genesis did have, I believe, two other versions of this out. And I did review one of the two in a past video, so you can check that out too. But this is the new one, the 2020 version. So very cool. Nice, very small packaging, very retail friendly. Definitely kind of looks like a classic Genesis if you were to buy them back in the day. My my bird agrees, so that's very good. Baby Down Cooin. Um, basically, it's a replica of the original one, including the controllers, because I believe the one I reviewed before actually had wired control or wireless controllers, and they didn't really have that original Genesis look. So on the back here, it talks about the games. Uh, it does include 40 classic games and uh, two bonus titles, which is very cool. Looks like we got Tetris and uh, Darius 2, which I think is a shooter. And this does include Echo the Dolphin, a dolphin and Castle of Illusion, which some of the other ones do not have those as well. So very cool. Does include a lot of classic Genesis games, Ghosts and Goblins, Golden Axe, um, Alex Kidd. You can see all the times. Shinobi, Sonic, Sonic 2, Sonic um, the Hedgehog original, Sonic Spinball, lots of good Space Harrier 2, Street Fighter, good stuff, Streets of Rage. Um, what else we got? Uh, uh, Contra, that was a great classic arcade game. Um, another Streets of Rage. A virtual Fighter. That seems like a almost more like a like a. I'm thinking not Genesis, but a Saturn title, but very cool. Um, just so many great games. Road Rash 2, uh, Champions Earthworm Jim, uh, Doctor Robotics. I mean, just this goes back and this really takes me back to like yesteryear of classic arcades and home gaming. So very cool. This does come with a mini console, comes with two wired classic controllers, power cable, everything you need to plug this bad boy in. Let's go ahead and just open the box here for you. This isn't really a live demo. We're just gonna do an unboxing for you so you can kind of see what comes in the box and check it out. Uh, first off, very small. Looks like this is a, a normal, like a phone adapter, like a little USB adapter, like you'd find with a phone, which is interesting. So very small, very easy to uh, include in your power strip without taking up a big brick or something, you know, which is cool. Um, other stuff in here does come with the HDMI cable, which I always appreciate when new devices come with new cables. So thank you for that. Um, not, not all of them do actually, which is really disappointing. Um, this right here is a power cord. This is standard USB, okay, to micro USB, which is what you find on like a lot of Samsung phones, a lot of phones out there. So you probably already have some of these cables. There's a good look at the end. You can see it's those little micro USBs to a standard USB, okay? All right, good stuff. And we do have our owner's manual here, which is pretty self-explanatory, but we'll just put that to the side for right now. The controllers themselves, like I'm really pumped that I'm just gonna open one of these two. My dove is cooing like crazy. She wants to play some video games. This is like the classic Genesis look. So it's got that curved design. Has, oh, that's really nice and springy. The buttons feel great. I mean, definitely, yeah, three buttons for fighting games. Start button, this is the this is the classic controller, which is really cool. And this is USB, okay? So very interesting. You might be able to plug this into a PC or something. I'm not really sure about that. I may test that in a future video. Um, but very cool controller. And heck, you get two of them, guys. So you can play doubles, which is really nice. And then this is the main event here. This is the actual console. And look how teeny this is. Oh my gosh, this is so cute and so small. Let's check this out. This is like if uh, Dr. Robotic like shrunk a Genesis. This is definitely the smallest one. Uh, the one I have is um, smaller than a normal Genesis. Um, but it is bigger than this for sure. Um, check out, it does have the, the volume control like back in the day, which is very cool in the classic Genesis, which is neat, had a good amount of tightness to that. On off button works and reset button works. Now it does have a cartridge slot here, which does not work. Obviously this is too small. This does open, but it's just black on the inside. So if you wanted one that would play actual Genesis games, uh, one of the other versions, like the one I reviewed before, if you check back in my queue, does have a working cartridge slot, which is cool. Uh, but this one does have HDMI built in. So that's a good plus and just really nice and keeping it like, I, I like these little ones. In fact, I collect the keychain ones. I mean, it's it's really cute, guys. That's a really fun controller, and this is a great way to ex experience some classic games. Even if you weren't around back then, you could check out and see what like how Genesis started. Like some of these early games, like Street Fighter and Virtual Fighter and like Sonic. These are classic games that everyone really should play at some point or another. So very good times, and it won't take up a lot of space. And it's just it's just so cute. <laughs> All right, guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. If you're not subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe and ring the bell for notifications of future videos. And of course, Tux Reviews and my other channel, 
Tux Toys, both channels are on Instagram and Facebook. So if you want, you can check them out there with uh, Instagram. I'll put Slice of Life photos, which are unique to each channel. So if you sub to Tux Toys, be sure to sub to Tux Reviews because I do put different photos on each uh, channel. And oftentimes they're from the like, cons and different places, different like personal home photos and stuff like that that you won't see anywhere else. All right. All right, friends. Thanks again. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.